Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This is Troy from Cichlid Bros. In today's video, we are gonna be doing an update on the Hello Reef Aquarium Kit, the nano saltwater tank that I set up about a month ago. And today, we're gonna to be adding fish and livestock to this tank. I know this has been a long awaited video, so sorry for the delay, but let's dive right in. Okay, so just a really quick update on the Hello Reef Aquarium Kit here. This is a 12 gallon nano saltwater tank that I set up about a month ago. And I've really just been taking my time with this aquarium, letting everything run, and just adding a little bit of food over time to get the cycle started in this tank. I could have just added the beneficial bacteria from the bottle to get fish in right away. But again, since I'm not really in a hurry, I was just doing it in a more natural way. But I'm actually going to be adding the beneficial bacteria today, right before I go out to the fish store to pick up some new fish. And over the first four weeks of this tank being set up, the only things I really needed to do was use my algae scraper. I have a flipper here that I'll leave down in the description below. It's a really good size for this specific aquarium and the glass thickness. I just scrape off the algae a little bit. I ghost feed just a little bit of pellets every day to keep that cycle going. And then I also top off the tank pretty regularly, probably every three days or so. I add a little bit of RODI water to the tank. I definitely think I'm going to get a lid for this tank eventually because the evaporation goes pretty quickly and I don't always want to be topping off the tank. I know I could get an ATO, but I've had ATOs malfunction or just be noisy in the past and it's just another expense. So I probably won't do an ATO for this tank, but I do think I will get a lid at some point. And the one thing I didn't show in the previous video was just how I made the salt water for this tank. It was super easy. I just had a couple of these big jugs of RODI water. You could pick them up at your supermarket or your fish store if you don't have an RODI system in your home already. But I just had these different jugs that I added the salt that came with the aquarium kit directly into the jugs. I let the jugs sit for a couple days and then I added them directly into the tank and I was checking the salinity along the way with a refractometer that came with the aquarium kit. And it was super easy to use the refractometer. You just take a couple drops from the tank water, put it on here, flip this over, and you can see what the salinity is. I also have a HANA salinity checker, and I actually had this for my previous saltwater tank years ago, so it didn't really come with this aquarium kit, but I used it as a secondary check for my salinity. I like this one because it's really easy. You just put it in the water for a few seconds, the temperature is right around 77 to 78 degrees, and my salinity is 1.023 slash 24, so that should be perfect for the livestock that I'm gonna be adding today. Once I add the beneficial bacteria, the tank should be pretty much cycled, especially because I'm not gonna be heavily stocking this tank right away or adding corals or anemones yet, but it should be good to go, and I'm really excited to finally get fish for this aquarium setup. And because there's a little bit of algae accumulating on the glass and the sand and rocks, this would also be a good time to add invertebrates as well as the fish. And the last thing I'll mention about the original setup is that with the return pump on full blast along with the wave maker in this position, it's actually blown the sand out of this corner of the tank. So I'll probably move that wave maker to the other side of the tank and just reposition it to hopefully not have any sand being blown around the tank and kind of have it a more even flow throughout the aquarium. But the last thing I'm gonna do before I run out to my local fish store to pick up the new fish is to add the beneficial bacteria. Again, this came with the aquarium kit, so I'm just gonna add directly to the water. Should be good to go, and I can't wait to go get the new fish. So I went to one of my go-to local fish stores beyond the reef in Hoffman Estates, Illinois. They always have a good selection of saltwater fish, so this would be a perfect spot to pick up my new saltwater inhabitants. When you first walk in here, there are two awesome display tanks. One is a freshwater planted tank with some angels, a couple electric blue acaras, and then they have a really good looking saltwater display tank here. It used to have way more corals, but it looks like they changed it up a bit and there's more new fish in here, but everything always looks good in this store. But one of the coolest things is that I did see my electric blue acara for sale. It looks like most of them had been sold already, but there still was some. It was just really cool to see them still happy and healthy and ready for their new home. So there are still a few left if anyone in the area want to come pick them up. Just make sure to get here soon. And I know this is a saltwater video mostly, but just taking a quick peek at a few of the cichlids here. They have some baby green tares that look great. Some Jack Dempsey's is one of our favorites. There were a few South American cichlids with the curviceps and the keyhole cichlids, both of which I think are underrated cichlids. And overall just a good selection, but then looking at the saltwater tanks, 
This eel definitely caught my eye, looked like it wanted to come home with me. And then they have all types of saltwater fish from your more high-end luxury fish to some of your smaller nano fish. Obviously I was looking at the nano fish selection. These Mai Tai clowns really caught my eye, but they technically weren't a pair, they were separated for a reason. I talked to the store manager and he pointed me into a different direction. But I ended up picking up some livestock, getting them secure, and getting them home. So it's been a few hours since I got the fish and the inverts into the tank and they're already looking great. The two Ocellaris clownfish are pretty small but I'm looking forward to seeing them grow up and kind of owning this tank. And then I got two snails and three hermit crabs. There's only a little bit of algae in the tank right now so I didn't want to get too much right away but I'll probably add a few more to the cleanup crew over time. I might also add some shrimp, so we will see about that. But definitely let me know in the comment section below what else you think I should add to this tank in terms of livestock, and especially in terms of corals or anemones. I've been going back and forth on what I want to do in terms of coral or anemones. Okay, okay, don't hurt yourself. If you think I should just go anemones or just go corals or a mix of both, let me know down in the comment section. You could definitely sway my opinion since I'm not fully decided yet. But overall, I've really been enjoying this aquarium kit from Hello Reef. Super simple. The equipment has worked just as good as I thought. A lot of the equipment were brands I probably would have hand selected. So overall, a really quality aquarium kit. And I'm very excited to have clowns again. If you remember a couple years back, I did have a saltwater tank with a couple clowns and I love those guys. So I was definitely sad to see them go and very excited to have clowns again. And hopefully these guys will be with me for a very long time. Thanks again for watching guys and we'll see you next time.